I thought I'd just do a quick video comparing the Baidu internet browser to Google Chrome because that seems to be, well Chrome is the fastest browser I've seen anyway and obviously they look quite similar as well so like comparing HTML5 compatibility and then I'll just search for a few different websites to see which one loads it first so if we open up first and see which one opens fastest so if we do Chrome first very quick and then Baidu slightly slower but I mean it had to open some apps and stuff as well so I'd say roughly they, they're about the same so if we um, put them side by side So if we do, for example, a HTML5 test on both. This uses Baidu as the uh, search engine, actually, so I think we'll have to use Google. Oh, it does it. That's not bad. So this gets 40 and no bonus points out of a total of 450. And Chrome gets... 329 and 13 bonus points out of a total of 450. So, for example, passing we've got four marks, Baidu got one out of 11, you've got zero for canvas, zero for video, zero for audio, two for elements, four out of 98 for forms, half roughly for user interaction, and zero for the rest of them apart from communication and storage and uh, scroll interview. And then, if you compare it to Chrome, you know, it's getting four marks or at least you know over half <clears throat> almost four marks zero in micro data four marks zero and zero and six so obviously chrome completely thrashes by I do on that one and if we do the sun spider test which is always a good test to uh, test out javascript so we do chrome first so it doesn't cheat do it at the same time So that got, Chrome got 581.6 milliseconds, and then if we do the Baidu version, uh, same spider. Seems to be loading it quite a lot slower. don't think it's actually going to load it so again Chrome completely beats it on that and then if we do this uh, net magazine if you go on to 404 link like you know type in anything you like in here it has a CSS animation so if it actually if your browser supports it then it will come up as like a moving you know bunch of magazines so if you do that for Baidu it comes up yeah it's not moving at all so again Chrome beats it so if we go on to a few websites now, so let's say Daily Mail, it's got tons of pictures and stuff on there. I've completely got rid of all the uh, you know history and stuff like that, the cookies. So if we do uh, Baidu first, wow, that actually uh, I think that beat it quite quite easily. Just finished loading the uh, background there. So that completely beat Chrome. Let's try BBC. Get rid of that in the background there. BBC. We'll do Chrome first. Wow, again, Baidu beat it. This is still loading the iPlayer. Wow, that completely flashed Chrome. If you do one more, let's say uh, bike radar. We'll do Chrome again first. Yeah, and Baidu's finished already. Got the video on the right here. Wow, so I think 
Baidu isn't very good for compatibility for newer technologies like HTML and JavaScript and stuff, but for pure speed it seems to beat uh, Chrome hands down. So I'll do another test in the future with um, Firefox, see if, it, you know, if there's any difference, but it's quite a good, uh, if you just want speed and not like all the crap that comes with it, then I guess Baidu is quite a good browser. Obviously, you've got all the browse, the buttons themselves are ex as self-explanatory, so you don't actually need to learn Chinese for the, you know, some simple stuff.